Hello everybody and welcome to my home. I'm Lisa Givens and I'm really glad we have this time to share together because I've been working on something. I've developed a couple of brand new scrapbook lines and I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to share it with you so come on inside. Here we are, this is my kitchen, and I don't know about you, but this is where all of my creativity happens, usually right at this counter at the kitchen table with a cup of coffee. My announcement today has to do about two scrapbook lines that I've developed with Prima, and I'm really excited. One is Wishes and Dreams, and the other is called All About Me. Now, they're designed for the very reasons that you and I love crafting and scrapbooking to begin with, to help us celebrate moments and honor traditions and express emotions but you're gonna find out that Wishes and Dreams is a big dream come true for me. And all about me? Well, that's all about my feeling that kids should have their own place to scrapbook and to dream and dream big. So I think they should not only be able to craft with mom or with their friends, but they should have their own journals and their own special way of expressing. So for example, think about journals like this and this is for a little girl, let's say we've developed something for a girl and she is gonna put her wishes inside of being a ballerina or in her little secret envelopes where they're safe and her heart's desire can be kept. She wants to be a mommy. But think about like a boy who wants to be a paleontologist, um, kids that wanna be parents, ballerinas to ball players and everything in between. We want kids to know that when they dare to dream and they write down how they feel about themselves and what the world tells them about who they are, then they can really grow into those thoughts and those ideas and thoughts become things. So that's part of the idea behind All About Me. And we're talking about like little books and the entire line of craft kits, everything you can imagine. Now, wishes and dreams. A wish is a really big thing at my house. We could take it very seriously. I mean, I have a wish pond, for goodness sakes. And I really love that because it's the site of a lot of rituals. Every year we have a wish dinner and it's all about the kids. They come and they write on little scraps of paper that they scroll up, put inside an ornament. They write their wishes and they hang them on the tree. And it's really special. Sometimes they're silly things, like someone will say, I wish my brother would get his hair cut. Sometimes they're really heartfelt things, like I wish I had another year with my dad, or I wish we didn't have to move. We're usually in the night with sparklers and we talk about our wishes and then our dreams, because dreams are the primal screams for happiness and you put them all together and you've really got something. So that's the inspiration behind wishes and dreams. What will these lines look like? That is a work in progress. I'm gonna tell you about every step along the way, but this much I can promise you. We're gonna have lots and lots of color, beautiful, beautiful palettes of color. We want it to be easy for you. For example, let's say this is part of our wishes and dreams line. I know that a lot of you are master crafters and you can create anything out of nothing, but for the rest of us, I'll speak for myself, Sometimes it's intimidating. So let's say in your kit for wishes and dreams, you would get a chipboard like this. All you need to do is pick your elements, which would all be there for you. You put them together with your pictures and bam, you've got a beautiful project that you can put on an easel, put on your wall, make a scrapbook page. We just want you to be successful and to know that you can do it because the whole idea is to get started, right? So wishes and dreams will have lots and lots of ways for you to think about it. Look at this. Part of what I dreamt about when my mother got Alzheimer's disease was how do I honor her story? How do I make it count? And I did that by creating a nonprofit, the Lisa Gibbons Memory Foundation. Our signature programs are Lisa's Place and Lisa's Care Connection. Now what we do there is open our doors and open our hearts to take care of the caregivers. So if you're a husband or a wife or a son or a daughter and you love someone who's lost their memory or who has a chronic illness or a disease, chances are you're not taking care of yourself. Let me show you my sweet mom, the inspiration behind Lisa's Place. This is my mom, Jean Gibbons, JG, the kids called her. A very strong woman who told me when she got sick, honey, I want you to tell my story. 
you're a storyteller, now this is your story, so make it count. So at Lisa's Place, we do a lot of scrapbooking. It's our most popular program. It is soul soothing, it's very therapeutic for our guests. And with Prima and Wishes and Dreams, we're going to be supporting all the caregivers at Lisa's Place with products and education and inspiration. So I'm really proud and excited about that. I can't wait to tell you more about it. Think about this. Think about the Wishes and Dreams line. Not just your scrapbook pages, but creating projects like this wheel. This could be an ornament that you could hang in your kitchen. You could hang, um, if you're a kid, you could put this in your bedroom to remind you of whatever you've designed. Like this one says, I dream of painting. So this one is all about that dream and that wish. Let's say that you're doing something, you wanna call it picture yourself. We'll show you how to do this project. You could then take each section of this fan and you could write there, I picture myself being healthy. I picture myself being strong. I picture myself offering love and receiving love. All of those things could become a part of your fan, a part of your wheel. We want wishes and dreams to really help put you in touch with what are those secrets that you have? What are the things that you want to celebrate with others? Legacy keeping, you bet. So imagine that you have old heirloom photos. You have pieces of the past that you want to somehow honor. We're going to give you a way to do that. We're going to show you ways to express it and we're going to talk you through every part of it. All about me, wishes and dreams. It's all going to be introduced right after the first of the year. We'll be talking about it on Facebook. Hopefully I'll be seeing some of you at CHA coming up, so I look forward to that. I'd really love to hear your ideas and your thoughts and just share with you because in the coming weeks, I'll be gathering together around my table, a group of girlfriends, some of them professional scrapbook designers, most of them just regular folks like you and me, and we'll be designing the line. And I want you to be involved right along with me. So stand by, more about wishes and dreams and all about me coming up.